Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always and I hope there's something to be learned and taken away from the game. Before we start, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily and that will definitely help you improve your chess further. So yeah, let's start off with the game. Let's see what pieces we get. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system. Start swap for d4. And now bishop f4. Okay, he has weakened up his king side already. I'll play e3. He gets the knight. Probably knight, now knight to f3. Let's centralize the knight on e5. Now we can just go ahead with the other knight as well on d2. He castles and we place the other knight on f3 now. Both the knights are connected. Pretty good. And now pawn to c3, completing our pyramid in the center. Only bishop remains to be developed. Uh, shall I consider capturing? If I capture, he can capture back with the knight maybe and then doesn't look good. So I just place my bishop on d3. He gets the knight in between. Which is okay. I believe we can just play h4 now. We are going ahead with the attack. He captures the knight. He can take on with the bishop or the knight, dependent. If I take with the knight, I'm losing out on the edge pawn. So I'll take with the bishop. And now the bishop is eyeing the king's side as well. So better square for the bishop, I would believe. And to displace this bishop from here, he needs to exchange the dark square bishops, which again is not good for black because that's his important piece. Uh, can I just take on the knight? Let's take on the knight. Point is after he takes, which he does. I'll offer him the other knight as well. Now if he takes with the bishop, my h file gets opened up for the attack and bad things await him. Okay, he gets the queen now. I'm okay losing a pawn there, so it's okay. That opens up the edge file at least. Yep, he takes, I take back. All right, so now I think we can try and go from the other side of the board as well. Or probably just place the bishop. No, let's move the queen to more active square. We're preparing to castle as well. Probably then align the rooks on the edge file. Rook can be aligned. Okay, he's trying to prevent us, stop us from castling. Simple placement of the rook to h4. He's trying to enter our space. But that doesn't harm us, at least for now. What is he threatening? I don't think he's threatening anything. So let's place queen to b4. Now I'm eyeing to go on e7 and then probably threatening some attack on the pawn. If he moves the bishop, which he does. Can I just take on the pawn in front? The problem is as soon as I open the file, he can probably... He can't do much from there. I'll take on the pawn. Let's see. 
threatening the bishop now. If he removes the bishop, it's mate. So now he defends the bishop, understanding the threat. Can take another pawn, I believe. Finally, he plays the pawn ahead now. Can I take rook over here? Makes sense to me at least. Let's see. Rook to h6. Okay, now he's threatening to give a check. But I can simply castle. That's the best thing, I think. Yep, we castle. He takes on the pawn. But that's completely fine. He can take another maybe. That max. That's it. Can I just align the rooks now? Uh, let's just wait maybe. Let's align the rooks. He takes the pawn. We just move aside. Okay, he's trying to guard everything now. Just trying to attack the rook now. He gives a check, we'll just move aside. Everything seems fine. Just that we're losing out on time, but that should not be a problem. The rook goes. And that's probably going to end up in mate very quickly. I think it's mate in one. He can just bring the rook in between. Now it will take a couple of moves at least. And the king will have a escape square thereafter. But that's over. I think he'll resign. <laughs> Just as I said, he resigns. So yeah, the London system again works uh, beautifully, I would say. Always helpful. Do try it out if you haven't. Oh, yeah, it was mate in three, as I said. So yeah, it started off with d4. He plays d5. He did up the bishop. So I don't understand this move always like uh, pawn to f5. You're just weakening up a king side already. This f7 is a very crucial square to be defended. And that's not a way that you defend. You just are weakening up your king, king side there. Just pawn to e3, solidifying the center. Knight to f3. He tries to consolidate, it, consolidate on e6. And then we move with... Knight to e5. He tells us the bishop now to e7. Knight d2. He castles. We go to knight f3. Correcting both the knights. Now he plays c6. We play c3. Solid structure. And he gets the knight. And we just develop the last minor piece remaining, which was the bishop on d3. Now he brings in the knight just to block the bishop diagonal. And we start moving ahead with our plan of just going ahead with the pawn. So h4, he takes on, we take back with the bishop. Now computer suggesting you can take on with the knight. Of course we can. Uh, but I was wondering what, and that if he can probably take on extra pawn there. Yep, that helps opening up. Oh, but that was a nice move. That was a nice move. That can be done in the next game maybe. Queen to h5, very strong. Now after he moves the bishop, just need to save the king. There's no way that he's going to defend it. Yeah, if he gets the knight back. How about, no, we don't want to pin it because 
we want this h file to be used properly so queen back to h3 what's the continuation he can't save the bishop anyway so i think he'll try to take on the pawn at least before losing the bishop if he takes we take back and we are still threatening on h7 just to we have to remove the knight from here okay computer testing play a5 but i don't think that's that's something that the opponent would have probably thought of playing here and rather a move like queen maybe he's trying to just reroute his queen somewhere even i won't play pawn to g4 that's that doesn't look nice to me at least i'd rather try to pin the knight and if he tries to kick away the bishop oh we can take on the pawn as well if i take on the knight and he takes back with the rook this is winning just need to break the diagonal probably just get the other rook as well on the g file and then win it from there that's pretty strong okay that could have been one line but we went go back we'll go back to the game he played queen to e8 we took on the knight because that was one of the strong uh, defenders of the center so i just wanted to break that up and then knight goes on to g5 and he brings queen now uh, to g6 uh, so that if a trade happens he gets a pawn extra i was pretty okay with it i'm uh, willing to open up the x file he takes with the bishop i take back he wins a pawn but i think this h file opening up is very crucial when you're attacking so now queen to b3 he's playing the best moves there queen to g4 and now attacking the queen queen goes to the right square which was f3 there and here i played queen to b4 and he could have simply played rook to f7 probably that saves um, but he but he thought of connecting his rook somehow and play bishop and take on the pawn because of course he cannot threaten uh, rook on b8 because the bishop is now guarding it that was the whole point of capturing with the bishop later on the bishop controls a lot of stuff here uh, threatening some mating chances as well if he removes the bishop uh, defending uh, the b8 as well so he defends the bishop now i take on another pawn he goes with g5 now and i just play rook to at six rather than bring it bring it back the idea was probably in some point of time if required i can probably play a uh, rook on f6 and exchange the rooks because then bishop gets more active attacking the rook and if he removes the rook or the bishop he, if he removes the rook it simply is losing the bishop and then probably getting made checkmate as well very quickly so he played queen to uh, g2 here which was a bad move as, as i said i can simply castle he takes on a pawn but we just went on, uh, uh, along with the plan of aligning the rooks on the edge file he takes on a pawn we go to the corner avoiding the check oh this was another move because if he if i play this uh, it's a check but if he takes then it's mate in one uh, that was that, that was nice if i could have found that during the game but I rather went with the slow approach, which was correct as well. Uh, I'm just trying to take, threatening to take on the rook. He gives a check. I just move aside, and he plays pawn to e3 here. Anyways, that was probably the end of the game. Nothing much left there. He loses the rook. Clear the lines. So yeah, uh, something to be learned from this game. Uh, try to open up the edge file. Always helpful to attack. Make sure the bishops are very active in the game and controls a lot of stuff. Like in this game, it was controlling uh, the entire situation there. And just go, uh, it's not necessary to attack from one side. You can attack from the other side as well. For example, we took our queen from uh, to b3 first and then uh, rerouted it eventually uh, to d d8. So yeah, uh, I hope there was something we learned. And... 
keep watching and sharing your feedback and thanks for all your support do like and comment subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that i'm posting up daily thanks for your time take care bye bye